Hello, welcome to my art area and my plants. I want to give them names. I'm back in my apartment playing with Kira right now because she is needy just like me and my roommate's moving out. <sighs> wow, I'm really good at this. Hello! Hello! Hello, I'm... Whoop. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be shaking the t Oh my god. Why do I always start so rough? I just played an animation that my friend did. His name's Toggy Olsen and he did the animation for me. He's a good friend of mine. I love it. And you might see more animations being added in. I'll put his Instagram below. Welcome to my eighth update, I believe, for my pan that slash those palette slash eyeshadows. I combine the pin that palette with the pin those eyeshadows and I just show them all in one video. As usual, we're gonna start with the pin that palette side of my project. And that palette side of the project is with brown sugar. I will preemptively say that this past month we did hit two pans and one of them is in brown sugar and we hit pan on saute. So as you can see, there's that little bit of pan. Also, um, before I forget, here's just the total uses. So that's the total uses on this palette for the past month. And yes, I did hit pan on saute after... I used it four times this past month and I did hit pan on the fourth time for saute. I'm really excited about that. I expected it. I kept doing this one type of look um, where I use Saute and Tron, which is the blue on my eyelid right now. I would use Saute and Tron on my lid with like neutral shadows blown out. If this cat, if you mess with my stuff, here, at least say hi or something. If you mess with my stuff, I'll be so sad. Do you see the tail's gonna happen? No, stop. But I was using Saute with Tron, which is on my lid right now a lot. And I was using it with Jamocha and Chai, of course, cause I still use that to set my concealer on my eyelids. And Verminger, which was formerly called Ginger. That, okay, that's the other thing with this palette. I used to have more pans, but I added more eyeshadow from different palettes and singles to this shadow, this shadow, this shadow, and this shadow. So I would have pan in these three, but I added more stuff to it. I'm sorry, my hair keeps hitting you. But I want to hit pan on everything by the end of the year. My goal for next month, I want to hit pan again on Verminger, formerly known as Ginger. I'm close to hitting pan on it, and I'm gonna be ambitious and hope to hit pan on Jamocha, which I think is like kind of one of the most beautiful transition neutrals. I don't know why, I really love Jamocha. It just looks really good on my skin tone, I think. But yeah, that's where we're at. We have three pans, but we would have three other pans if I didn't add more stuff into it. So that's pretty cool to be like, two-thirds of the way basically i've hit pan two-thirds on basically i guys so basically i've i was so happy i hit pan on saute for the first time this past month so yeah there you go oh wait um before i forget because i will forget let me do like a thumbnail image Okay, one of those has to be good. I haven't been tallying the number of uses um, since the very beginning of this project. So for a few months I wasn't tallying, so I don't know the true number of uses it took um, to hit pan on saute. But what I have recorded down is 16 uses in total it took me to hit pan on saute. And I think that low number is because saute is very soft. And I had to use it with a wet brush a few times to get this like really pretty oil slicky look from it. I used to not like it, but I really do now. It's a unique shade. If I finish it, 
I won't have another shadow like it in my collection. It's like, it's a shimmer that has a brown base with a dull green flip, if that makes sense. So let's move on to the pan those eyeshadows part of the project. As I've told you, I hit pan on two shadows this past month, and one of those was in my pan that palette. So there's only one shadow going forth. I am sorry. I'm not sorry, I'm just sad because I wish I was able to do more. It's just been a crazy past month. I have gone back to work and I've been painting a mural, which I'm really excited about. And if it looks good, I'll share a picture with you guys. But, but if it looks bad, you won't be seeing it. But um, I'm just nannying and doing a mural and I've been super busy and came back over here from being in the woods. It was just like a lot this past month, so I actually wasn't using a lot of makeup. And I'm filming this a little early to the end of the month. I'm just seizing this opportunity that my roommate's out for me to film in good lighting. <laughs> Let's go to the pan those eyeshadows side of the project. I have six shadows in my pan those eyeshadows side of the project. And my least amount of uses will be seen in my main squeeze palette. I have two shadows in here. Also when I mentioned it in the last update, but when I was in the woods, I had eight palettes with me. So I didn't have my whole collection and I didn't anticipate being in the cabin for so long, but I didn't want to roll in shadows that weren't with me. So I rolled in two shadows from the palettes that I still had with me. That's why you'll see two of these palettes in my project. They have two shades in them. Does that make does that make sense? That's not just because of like, whoa, a coincidence. It's because I only brought eight palettes with me into the woods. But main squeeze, the least amount of uses I have is on red bottoms, which I used four times this past month. So I used red bottoms four times, and like it's hot, I used six times. I love these shadows, they're working great. I have red bottoms and like it's hot on my outer eye right now. The red bottoms is deepening my outer corner and like it's hot is like the perfect red for rainbow looks, which I've been doing lately. And yeah, that's just, it's gonna take forever on both. It's great that I have these shadows in my project together because I just use this to darken my looks that I use with this red. And I've just been doing like the typical, like all red looks, rainbow looks using this shadow. This palette will be in my project for a while. That's just a fact, so. I like red. We're doing fine. Me and red have a good relationship right now. Tied for second least amount of use is from my Morphe Such a Gem palette. Here is the Perry Twinkle shadow that rolled in last month and it's a mess. Perry Twinkle is a little difficult. I was trying to use it one day in a completely like um Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the word periwinkle because this is called periwinkle, and I was just like, what's the actual word? I tried to do an all periwinkle-y lavender look. Didn't really get a good photo of it because I was rushing out the door to meet a friend. It's in my look right now, very briefly, underneath. I don't think I'm going to try to do an all periwinkle-y, lavender-y look ever again because that was just so difficult. and. The other shadow I was using was really powdery and not sticking on my eyelid, so maybe that's part of it. Like, maybe I should give it a shot. It was a lot to handle. I used it six times. I don't know when I'll hit pan on it, and it doesn't really have good impact. It's like, it's a satiny type of shadow. One time I put it on and it made my eyes look kind of bruised, so I think I'm just discovering that periwinkle on my eyes looks a little bad. I don't know. We will see about that um, in the future. And drink some coffee. In the order of least to most, the next eyeshadow is Tron from my Kaleidos Futurism, <laughs> Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise from that palette. I have Tron, which I used eight times. And... Here we are 
I am actually optimistic about hitting pan on this next month. There is a good dip if you can see it. I don't think you can, but that's okay. Maybe like, oh, do you see it like that? Okay, whatever. But you can see the dip going on there. I have Tron on my eyelid now. I use it all the time when I do a rainbow look. It is so pretty. It really is such a gorgeous shadow and I think this palette is worth it just for that shadow. It's bluey and greeny. It just looks beautiful in every way. I feel the same way about Saute from the Brown Sugar palette where these are truly unique in my collection of like a few hundred eyeshadows. I've been thinking about that a lot lately where it's like what shadows in my collection are truly special and this is one of them. It is so pretty. Another shadow that I used eight times is actually the shadow that I hit pan on this past month and it's Garnet Glam. Can you see it? So you see right there? Yep. Oh my gosh, this took forever. I used it eight times this past month and I used it a few times. Look how deep that pan is, by the way. Like what? It's just so, oh my gosh. Garnet Glam are used as an eyeliner quite a bit throughout this project. And I hit pan on July 25th. So only a few days ago, I did an experimental look. I did a few eyeliner looks. The experimental look, I was just like, what does it look like to have like a checkerboard eye or racetrack flaggy eyes? I just wanted to experiment and see if there's any way I could like use that later. And it looks, it looks wild, but maybe on a smaller scale, I would do that again. After 18 uses, Garnet Glam is out of my project. Thank God I did not enjoy its presence. I'm really glad that it's gone. It reads as black, but sometimes you get the purpley shimmer that's in it. I just am really happy it's gone. Now I have five pans in this palette alone. That's wild. I'm going to have a sixth pan, a sixth pan hopefully by the end of the year. And the last shadow on my pan, those eyeshadow side of the project is from my Berries and Cream Dominique Cosmetics palette. I'm really happy that I have this palette in my project again. I have Honey Dipped in my project and I do not have Pan, but I am hopeful that I will get Pan next month. I used it nine times this past month. Like the other shadows in this palette, it is very soft. This is why I like the project because it gives me appreciation for certain shadows that I'm made to work on and like with Tron I thought it was pretty in the pan but I never really used it and now I love Tron I'm a big fan of Tron from this palette and now because of this project I am a big fan of Honey Dipped as a neutral shadow it has this like kind of gorgeous texture on the lid I don't think it's completely smooth I don't know how to explain it I love it it has this like antique gold look to it. It's not gold gold, it's just kind of a toned down gold. I am gonna miss it when I roll it out. That's pretty much it. Now we just need to random number generate one shadow from my collection into the project. Hopefully there's not too many technical difficulties like I usually get, but that's okay. I have now 279 shadows that are eligible for this project. As usual, if I roll a shadow that already has a pan in it or is a pressed glitter or looks too similar to any of the shadows that are currently in my project, I will re-roll. So, minimum one, max 279. So let's go. Eight. 210. So let's see what 210 is. Nude Beach from Be A Mermaid and Make Waves. Let me look at Nude Beach and make sure it doesn't conflict with Verminger. Okay, so for me, those are way too close. Nude Beach is more goldy and Verminger is more champagne-y, but I'm just not that bitch to let those two exist in my project together because I'm going to use one or the other. Let's reroll a different number. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. 
61. So let's try 61. 61 is Work It from the Sweet Talk palette. So let me get that. Work It is this shadow. My Sweet Talk palette looks very different because these are not supposed to be in here. I switched them out. So don't think that this is what the Sweet Talk palette looks like. But let me just double check that. <laughs> is Work It different? Oh yeah, Work It is very different. Work It is actually more peachy orangey. I can already tell it's not going to be similar to any of my other shadows. So Work It is in my project. Don't look at my arm. I mean, look at it, but don't look at it. There is Amber, Work It, and Jamocha. They're very, very different from each other. So Work It is in my project. I'm happy with that. Um, I need to get more use out of the Sweet Talk palette anyways. That's fine with me. It'll work well with like, I think a lot of different looks. So we will try out Work It. Yay. I will go swatch everything and I'll put up a picture of it. Thanks for watching my update. Sorry if I seemed off. I was kind of getting really distracted and frustrated with the creatures. If you can hear them, hear her now. And blech. But I'm doing well, and I hope you all are doing well. And remember to support human rights and to be safe out there. And I never know how to close these off. I just always want to hope everyone's safe and being kind to others. Comment below if you want to say anything. I'll see you next month. I'll try to post other videos about other stuff. After August 15th, which is when my roommate moves out, I will actively try to do more videos. <sighs> Bye. Goodbye. 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 This is my goodbye song. This is my goodbye song. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yikes. Look at this. I'm organizing my thread. I'm doing a great job. Oh, hey. I forgot to update you. Let's not spin around, Angela. Let's not do that, okay? I forgot to update you about my butter bronzer. Here it is. So here you go.